Good morning, Ionson Valley. This is Marie's Kitchen and welcome. Well, today I am again with my friend Darcy in my kitchen because last time... Hi, Darcy. Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, last time we talked after the show, we were mentioning um, breakfast and you did mention, oh, I have a great recipe and it's called Dutch Baby. Absolutely. So Dutch babies were a family favorite in my family growing up on Mercer Island near Seattle. And my mother used to make them all the time. And especially when I had friends spend the night. But my, I would tell my friends, we're going to have Dutch babies for breakfast. My mom's going to make them. And my friends would say, Dutch babies? What's that? Yep. And I said, just wait. It's kind of like a pancake. You'll like them. But anyway, Dutch babies are a wonderful, wonderful recipe. Um, not hard to make, but spectacular to serve for your friends and family. Yeah, and I, I remember when I went to Yakima a few months ago, uh, you made those for us, and they were delicious, but most of all, very impressive. You know, the French make the crepes, yes. and, and, and they're flat. You know, there's nothing. Um, it, it's, it's very good. I love crepes, don't get me wrong. But yours, it's more like... Wow, visual, when you right. take it out from the oven. Absolutely, and you have to have a viewing because what happens yeah. is this is basically like a Yorkshire pudding or a popover. Mm. So if any of you have gone to Knob Hill or before when they had the restaurant at Worm Springs and they have those fabulous popovers with the honey butter, that's what this is. It's just in a bigger pan and it makes a beautiful, beautiful, spectacular, uh, kind of like a cauldron. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, it is. It's fun it and is. it's delicious. And easy to make. Easy. So, um, you're going to start explaining yes. the ingredient here, uh, Darcy. So we have... We have four, four eggs. eggs. We have a cup of flour. We have a cup of milk. We have a vanilla and a little bit of sugar. And then we'll mm -hmm. put some butter in a pan. So this is much like a crepe batter. Mm -hmm. But instead of a flat little crepe, this is going to be a whew, big yes. Dutch baby. Yes. Very impressive. Okay. And before we start, yes. we did preheat the oven. That's a very, very important. Very important. Yes. Something to do with mm -hmm. the chemistry or the physics of this. We will heat up the pan first with the butter in it before we put the batter in it. And that is the chemical reaction that creates this wonderful, wonderful big shape. Yes. And the four... Uh, Oops, sorry, I was ready to say the full in French oven. I'm sorry. The oven is at 400 degrees. 400 degrees. For sure. And make sure to preheat it. It needs to be really very, hot. Very, very important. That is a very important factor for this recipe. All right. So, are let's we ready cook. to start the Dutch yes. babies? Okay. Yes, ma Here we let's go. Let's do it. So, we're going to start with four eggs. Okay. These are beautiful eggs, yeah, Marie. Just, uh, yeah, the eggs, it's, it's always organic, of course, because it's. That's something I'm very picky about eggs. It has to be organic. These are beautiful. Yeah, the yolks are gorgeous. Yep. We have our little whisk. Yes. Uh, we're going to put in... What do you want? The, uh, the milk? One first. cup of milk. Yep. This is one cup. And this will serve four people easily. Easily, yes. Now, I've made these for my daughter and her friends over the years, too, just like my mother used to do. And when she would have friends spend the night, and sometimes we'd have ten girls, I'd have to make... Double bag. A lot of Dutch babies. Yeah. yeah. And um, so my mother, uh, I was telling her about this uh, doing the show, and she said, be sure to mention the restaurant in Seattle uh, called Manka's Cafe that was in Madison Park a long time ago, and they claim they invented the Dutch baby. <laughs> yeah. Now, we don't know if that's true or not, yeah. but uh, that's their claim to fame. Now, they're... I think Dutch baby might have come from Deutsch, like a German pancake, mm -hmm. and somebody mispronounced it. I don't know. But well, you know, Dutch line miss really means Germany because right. they don't say Germany; they call it Dutch land. That's right. Yeah, Deutschland. Dutch line, and okay. so it's Germany. So now we have one cup, one cup of, of flour. flour. Yep, there it goes. And then we're gonna do that for a few minutes for sure until we have a very nice consistency with the batter. Parfait. Now you can make this earlier in the morning. Let's say you're making it for guests or your family and not everybody's up yet. You can make this an hour early and just let it sit for a while, which I is like fine. I like that. It's always nice to be able to, then it's to done. do it. Yeah. Why don't we put a, just a pinch of sugar in? Just 
Maybe maybe two pinches. All right, sounds good. Okay. This here I have Perfect. two tablespoon, and we had used two nice pinch. And this, do you want me to? Sure. How yeah. about let's put in three. All right, you got it. I like the flavor of vanilla. One. And this is three tables. Oh, teaspoon. I'm sorry. Teaspoon. Not tablespoon. Teaspoon. Perfect. Et voila. Et voila. Et voila. Very nice. So. Just mix, mix, mix. Yes, because you want a very nice, silky Exact, exactly. Exactement. 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 So we're trying to get some of those little lumps out of it so yes. it's nice and smooth. And this will make a nice, nice, like you said, silky. I like that word. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. And these are so, so much fun to make because you'll see at the end, they're just beautiful. Yes, just they are. Beautiful. Yeah, they're very impressive. You're gonna really like the way they look. And then uh, when we start plating at the end of the, the cooking, uh, we we will show, of course, the viewers. But we have fruit that we put on top, and we can yes. put a lot of nice goodies, beautiful colors with the fruit. A lot of and different and options. Yeah, any lot, time of year. Yeah, and we will talk about that, of course. Um, so Darcy, do you think, because I have three tablespoons yes. of uh, butter here, yes. do you want me to melt the butter? I would love that, Marie. Yes, okay, I'll do that while you're finishing. Okay, um, sounds that. good. Yeah. So a really important step is to put the butter in the pan, in the oven, after it's preheated. So the pan is going into a really hot 400 degree oven with the butter in it. We're gonna wait for the butter to melt. Mm -hmm. and, and then I'll bring the pan here. Right, so in the oven, the whole thing in the oven mm -hmm. right now, not right. on top. Oh, oh, not on the, oh, there you go, sorry. That's okay. See, shallow, there, <laughs> perfect. It's in the oven. Okay, in the oven, good. In the oven. So we're gonna let that get as very, very hot. So make sure you have hot pads yes. when you take it out. And then as soon as it gets uh, melted and mm -hmm. that pan is really hot, we're going to bring it out quickly, put the batter in it, and put it right back, back in as in fast as we can. Okay. All right, Darcy, I think your butter I is ready. I think it's perfect. So oh, this is, yes. This is a fast move. We're going to put the batter in yes. quickly. And then Marie, quick like a bunny, is going to put it right back in the Thank oven. Thank you, goes. Marie. Oh, well, perfect. Looks good. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, and now, now 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 400 degrees. We'll mm -hmm. be right back. Welcome back. It's been 20 minutes, Darcy. 20 minutes. Are we ready for the spectacular? We are ready for the viewing. All right, I'm opening Here we go. The door. Here we go. You're Quickly. Taking it. All right. Oh, oh my God. Oh, la la. Magnifique. Oh. I'm around Marie and I just want to speak French and say French <laughs> things like ooh la wow, la. That is Look at beautiful. that. Absolutely now, gorgeous. Every time you make it, it's different. Sometimes it comes up here, yes. sometimes it's like puffy, it's like, wow. you know, the moon, moonscape or something. Volcano. But, uh, volcano. Today is just perfect. Now, it will deflate a little bit. Of Don't course. be disappointed. Of course. But not too much. Okay. Oh, this just looks perfect. It's beautiful and it smells so good. Ooh. That's a mm, little it smells bad. good. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. All right. Go We're going it. to cut it into My favorite part now. Yeah, yeah. right. It's coming up. Oh. You know, I never get tired of these. I yeah. never get tired of these. These are so good. It's, uh, if you want to impress your guests, this is a this perfect This is an impressive one. It can one. be brunch, it can be breakfast, and you're going to see you... we're going to we are going to uh, put some nice the fruit, some creme fraiche. I mean, you're gonna see. I did cook some bacon, Darcy. Ooh, but nice. But you like yours also with sausage. Right? Oh, you know, yeah, there's a the wonderful brunch. Bruce Adele's chicken yes. sausage that is so good with it. So here we go. Wow. We cut them into wedges. They're a little bit custardy on the bottom. Yes. Ooh, that's going to be great. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, We're going to put with, some is... fresh lemon juice mm -hmm. on lemon each juice. one. Fresh squeeze gives it a little tartness, which is just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is perfect. Ooh, they look good. Yes. And then a little powdered sugar. Yes. I just got this new canister. I kind yeah. of like it. It's it kind of like fun. It's like it's snowing. Thing. Snowing here in oh, Sun, yeah, Valley. Sun Valley. Oh, and then let's put in, now you can use any fresh fruit. Right. Marie has some beautiful 
blueberries yeah. here today. We're going to put them on. I, yeah, I picked blueberries, strawberries, and pineapple. And pineapple. Or you can have raspberry. You can have anything you want. You know what I love in the summer? Our fresh nectarines, our oh, fresh peaches. Apricot. Yum. Apricots would mm. be good. And then also, if you don't have fresh fruit, uh, apples. Yes. Being an apple yeah. farmer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Saute apples with a little cinnamon and sugar oh, is I'm awfully so good. Delicious. And don't oh don't be fussy about how you put the fruit on. Just kind of put it on like this. And it makes a beautiful presentation. And, and here we go. A little nub of crumb this fresh. A little bit of crumb fresh. Yeah, you but you could that. use yogurt and you could use um, uh, whipped cream. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh boy, Darcy, here we I go. I said the yet. right word. Yeah, yeah, whipped yeah. cream. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Where All right. right. Go there? for it. Sure. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Careful with that. Oh. Whoa. There Man. You go. Okay. Let's just put a little more dusting of snow because hey, we're in we Sun Valley. Hey, voila. Okay. Let's push this over let's there. Let's push it aside. And okay. And then you can have your plate. Ooh. Because I'm Yay. not sharing. Yay. Oh, this good. This is mine. <laughs> Yay. Well, thank you, Darcy. This looks delicious. Oh, okay. Marie. I go for it. I'm okay. going to take a piece I'm of gonna take the, little... the Dutch baby, a little bit of creme fraiche, mm -hmm. a little bit of whipping cream, oh, yeah. and some fruit. Ready? Uh-huh. Mmm. Mmm, 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 yeah. mmm, mmm, mmm. That is so good. Yeah, it's really, really, mm. really good. And this in my is perfect. case, I like the salt, yes. sweet. Mm -hmm. So the bacon would be perfect with it. Now, it is. let's say you you don't want to put fruit on it. You could have it plain. You could have it just like this out of the oven, and you could put a little maple syrup on it. Yes. You could even put a little oh cinnamon if you wanted something like agave, that. Agave uh, syrup. Yeah, agave syrup, and you could have it just like that. Yeah, in fact, honey. Yeah, honey would be good. I've eaten some of it out of the pan afterwards, just plain. It's so good, and That's you can good. reheat it too. Yeah. So well, there we there go. We go. This is the Dutch Fantastic. baby. Fantastic Dutch baby. Brunch, breakfast. Dinner. Dinner? Why not? Why not? Why okay. not? Woo! Good job, Awesome. Marcy. Very fun. I hope fun. you enjoyed this recipe. And I always enjoy being in the kitchen with my friend Darcy. I and love being with Marie in the kitchen. <laughs> and we will see you very soon. And like I say, cooking is love to me. And I love sharing the convivability. The con con how do you say that word? Convivial. Convivial. There kitchen, kitchen convivial yeah. atmosphere share be with your friends your family cooking and food is always a good cooking is love yeah and this is. is a perfect one to share with friends and family absolutely well thank you so much darcy thank you marie we will see you very soon here in my kitchen with ion sun valley in the meantime take care of each other take care of yourself and au revoir au revoir thanks darcy thank you